Hi, it's Jared, and today we're going to be talking about the four different ways that you can make money. There's really four basic ways to make money, um, and it, when you understand this, you can start to understand how you can create wealth versus making money. You can start to understand why the rich get richer. You can understand why the poor and the middle class sometimes have a hard time breaking out of that. But once you understand this, then now you understand how to break out of that and how to create wealth. And it's all about cash flow and understanding these four basic types of income and then, and then putting in a plan of action to go from earning the, the poor types of incomes to the, the, the richer types of incomes. And so it's really as simple as that. And they don't teach this in schools. So, you know, maybe this is the first time you've heard this. When I first heard it, it blew me away and I said, I'm gonna figure out how to create cash flow. And so, and some of you don't even understand the meaning of that word. So, but let's go ahead and just jump in, let's dive in and talk about this. So, there's four different types of income, employee, self-employed, business, and investment. And that's it. Now, the, the best form of income is investments because your money is working for you. And the problem is the poor and the middle class, you know, which is, you know, the category that I grew up in, um, you really don't have money to invest. And so, you know, even when my wife and I got married and we started to have a family and, you know, I had a business and we really didn't have money to invest until we understood this cash flow quadrant and how to uh, get where we want to go. So, uh, employee is where you trade time for dollars and that's the worst form of income because if you work eight hours uh, and you're making ten dollars an hour you get ten dollars back a lot of people call this um, you know renting your life away you basically rented your time to someone else for amount of money um, now sometimes you have to go to work and you need to have a job but you don't want to stay here you want and you may stay there the rest of your life but you want to figure out even if you're going to work for someone else the rest of your life and be an employee Nothing wrong with that, but you want to figure out how to move to the better parts of the cash flow quadrant. So you really want to move from the left to the right and then from the top to the bottom. And so E is employee income, trading time for money. And, if, and the problem with it is, is if you don't show up, if you get hurt, something happens to you, um, you, you don't have that money coming in. And also, um, you can lose that income very, very quickly. So if they decide to replace you, you know, a lot of different things, reasons why this is the worst form of income. You'll never exit the rat race. You'll never have true freedom as long as you remain right here in the E quadrant. You want to move um, in this direction from left to right. So the S represents self-employed. And so this would be a person that like they own their own business, but it's really just them. Um, they don't have employees. Maybe they have a couple but it's a small business and they don't have any employees or they have a few and still you're trading dollars for hours. Now you work for yourself instead of someone else making someone else rich. Now you're building your own business as a small self-employed person. But again, what happens if you break your leg and you can't go to work? What happens um, if you're in the hospital um, for a month and you can't go to work? Um, it, it just affects you drastically and so you're still trading dollars for hours. It's a bad place to be. You're never going to create wealth. You're never going to get where you want to go financially in life and create wealth, especially in these two quadrants. You want to move from left to right. So what is B? B is a large business owner. And a large business owner generally has anywhere from 100 to 500 employees or more, um, or maybe 500 people on his team or in his network or more. And this is where you want to get because as a large business owner, here's what this means. This means that you could actually leave your business for a year. You could throw your phone in the ocean, you could go to the other side of the world, go to Fiji uh, for a year and sit on the beach and do nothing and you know, drink pina coladas, and you came back a year later and your business is performing just as well and it's been spitting out just as much income and profits, um, even if you weren't there, or it's even grown. That is a large business. That's the B quadrant. Okay, so that, that produces cash flow. Whether you're working or whether you're not, it's producing cash flow, a large business. Now, you want to move, so, so we want to move from left to right, but then ultimately, you want to move from the top to the bottom over here. So 
A lot of people misunderstand the term multiple streams of income. It's best to have one or two, maybe a third, but some simple forms of income. But if you're building a business, focus on one or two things, it's certainly not in the same industry. So um, especially people like in direct sales or network marketing, you want to focus on building one business. Maybe you're a small business owner, traditional business, hey, that's cool. But you want to focus for several years and build this build this business because then what happens is it starts to throw off cash and it doesn't matter if it's $500 a month or it doesn't matter if it's $5,000 or $50,000 a month. Extra cash flow, okay, over and above what you need to pay your bills and do those sorts of things to live, give and invest and things like that. You can actually start to invest in investments. And so the I portion of the <coughs> quadrant cash flow quadrant is where you want to be because this is where your money starts to make money for you. You know, Heather and I, my wife and I, we've been blessed to move from employee, small business owners. I used to, um, you know, I, I, when I was out of college, I, I worked for someone else. I had a job while I was in college. And then I became a small business owner. I was in the wireless industry. And, it, and you know what, if I didn't show up for work and, and I had a few employees, and, and but if I was gone, and my business wasn't running itself. I had to be there hands-on to make it work. And then we got into the business we're in today. We started um, with a company called Pure, and we built a team of well over 500 plus, I mean, now into the thousands and thousands, large business that produced cash flow and serious cash flow, way above what we require to live on. And so then what we started to do was started to make investments. And now those investments um, and we hire people to run those companies or they're just um, their business investments or they're just investments in general. Um, real estate, uh, as an example, investment, those, your money is making money for you. You're ma truly making money while you sleep here and here in the investment and it just starts to multiply. So that truly is the path um, to building wealth. Every person that has built wealth understands this cash flow quadrant and the reality is is if you stay over here or here you're never going to move to the right and especially down here um, where you're able to make significant investments and your money starts to multiply um, because most of the time when you're over here you're in debt you don't have a savings account and you certainly most of the time don't have extra cash flow so you know the reality is you need to get here you need to build a big business reality and I've never met anyone that's able to change their life and build wealth, especially um, without owning their own business and turning it into a big business. So that's what we do, that's what we specialize in, helping people do that, training, equipping, inspiring how to do them how to do that, and anyone can do it. If they've got a, I like to say, if you got 150 bucks to your name and a, and a big dream, then we can help people uh, start from square one and just go. And so, anyway, I look forward to working with you hopefully, chatting about your dreams and where you want to go in life in building some cash flow.